Well, this week, a federal judge dismissed Disney's free speech lawsuit against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, dealing a setback to the company's hopes of regaining control of the district that governs Walt Disney World after it was taken over by the governor's appointees. The judge said in his decision that Disney lacks standing in its First Amendment lawsuit against the governor. The judge also said Disney has not alleged any specific injury to the company from any action taken by the new board. Disney quickly appealed the decision on Thursday. A separate lawsuit over who controls the district is still pending in state court. The legal battle was a direct outgrowth of Disney's decision to criticize Florida's parental rights and education bill that banned classroom instruction about sexual orientation and gender identity. So, Deborah, the governor said, he, he declared victory, he said uh, we were wrong, uh, we were right, and they were wrong, excuse me, and that Disney should move on. So what do you think about the judge's decision? Absolutely a good decision. This was never about the First Amendment, never about free speech. They have their free speech intact. This was always about the districts. Districts, independent taxing districts are formed by the legislature. They're in the statute. Um, they had not been filing reports, so forth and so on, or complying with various provisions of the statute. I said it on this show, a number of months ago when this lawsuit started is that it was a red flag to look at these special districts and find that more than um, a handful were not in compliance. So the state um, began looking, requiring reports and so forth and so on, dissolving some that were no longer performing to their purpose. And so this was not, but it was a red flag. You need to be careful when you speak that people may look into the fact that, oh, you're a felon or, oh, you haven't paid your taxes, so, so forth and so on. Never about free speech. There was no harm to the fact that they spoke or they tried to uh, talk, put talk, pressure. What you say? Was this I, retaliation I, I, for Disney's position on Don't Say Gay? Well, the court never got to the question of the First Amendment. It's ironic because we see that a big part of the Republican Party is beating their chests about the weaponization of the judicial system when uh, Judge Windsor, who's a Trump appointee, didn't even get to the merits of the First Amendment. He actually dismissed on standing, saying that uh, Disney didn't have standing to bring the case, which we know is bunk. It's political cover because we know that corporations have the right for political speech. So what's really at the issue here is that we'll never really get to whether or not Disney was hurt until we go to the appellate court. And the other thing that's really interesting is those 1,800 districts that we're talking about, they all enjoy the same rights that Disney did. The difference is Disney is a corporate giant, a family-friendly, inclusive corporate giant that had a different view of what family and inclusion looks like than DeSantis. And so the other districts, like the Villages, which is a special district, also vote predominantly Republican. So this uh, this doesn't look quite as so easy you're as saying the governor talking. didn't take action against those other no, districts. No, no, yeah. and we won't get to the retaliation until the appellate court. Mm -hmm. uh, that's incorrect. The governor <laughs> and the legislature has taken action against special districts that are not compliant. Disney was not compliant. That wasn't the question and before the court, though. The question before the court is whether it was retaliation let's, against free speech. Not. Let's bring Howard Troxler in. Howard, what's your take on this? Or I, I call you Howard Troxler. Howard Simon, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I, that's okay. Howard Troxler is a wonderful person. I'm, <laughs> I'm honored to be confused by him. Um, look, if, if to say that this is not a free speech case is got to be news to the real world. Um, I, I would uh, wait until I put my money on the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, uh, sending it back for some more legal work by by this judge. Uh, yes, special taxing districts need to be looked into, but this is the only one that's been looked into, and it's the only one that's been looked into specifically because they criticized uh, the governor's policy. I, I, if this isn't a free speech case, I don't know what is a free speech case. And I've been dancing around free speech cases for four decades. I mean, of course, this is retaliation for criticizing uh, the governor. Hunter? Yeah, a big part of this is also whether or not there was intent to do damage to the company. And they couldn't find that. And they, they weren't going to look into it, first of all, because there's no standing in it. There's no there's no grounds in it. It's not really a free speech issue. Anyone who, who marks it as a free speech issue, um, I think it's being a little bit disingenuous on the topic. Uh, the company has a right to have their opinion. 
they made their statement. Mm -hmm. However, like Deborah said, people are going to start looking when you start saying things that are obviously conflative or obviously going to be conflictive. Um, That's and, what exactly makes it a free speech case. Uh, but but you, it, it, if you're going to you argue free speech, if you're going to argue free speech. For what, but when, you, when you're retaliated against for expressing your opinion, that's what makes it a free speech case. But was, the problem is for there to be an infringement on the free speech, there has to be some for, form of damage. But there was no form of damage to, to, to the, the company. The court didn't even get to that question in reality. But, but that's the, the whole the point. The truth is, is that Floridians are having to pay for this appeal at $800 an hour. And so yeah. the expense of this litigation. So it's litigation, great that they threw it out, actually. So that well, means we're no, saying that money. No, because DeSantis, <laughs> yeah. DeSantis has doubled down and saying he's going all the way. So yeah. at well, the cost of well, tax dollars, we're going to wait to see what the appellate court says. Disney yeah. is challenging the decision for, uh, and, and taking it higher. Okay. Well,